Welcome back to the Christian Foundation course, study number 94, the Bap Doctrine of Baptisms. We're on the subject of faith. Let's go back to 1 John chapter 5 and verse 5. He, who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Now, to believe that Jesus is the Son of God, you've got to believe that Jesus was the Christ. Now, sorry, who was the Christ? Who was this Christ? The Christ, in the prophetic scriptures, was to be God manifest in the flesh. Right? Now, Jesus is the author and finisher of your, of your faith. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. You will never overcome the world completely with inside yourself. Be content in this world until you can come to that place where you believe that Jesus is the Christ. Now, I'm going to quickly show you a scripture outside this course. Hang on a minute. Now, this is Isaiah verse 9 in the scriptures. Here it is here, right? This is it. And this is speaking about the Lord Jesus Christ. Follow with me, please. For unto us a child is born. Who is that? The Lord Jesus Christ. Unto us a son is given. Who is that? The Lord Jesus Christ. And the government will be upon his shoulder. And his name will be called. Now what's his name? Let's find out. Wonderful. Counselor. Mighty God. Everlasting Father. Hang on. Everlasting Father. Father. Now how could Jesus be the Everlasting Father? Does anybody there know? I know, because Jesus was God manifest in the flesh. And he'll be the Prince of Peace. God was in Jesus. Jesus was God manifest in the flesh. Now we're in 1 Corinthians 1 and verse 9. What's it say? God is faithful. God is faithful, by whom you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. God is faithful. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 12 Therefore let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. No one tempted has overtaken you except such as... No temptation has overtaken you except as is common to man. But what? But... But... God is... God is, you say it, faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. God is faithful. 1 Peter 4, verse 19. Therefore let those who suffer according to the will of God commit their souls to him in doing good, as to a what? He is a faithful creator. God is a faithful creator. Second Thessalonians 3 and verse 3. But the Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. The Lord is faithful, and he will establish you and guard you from the evil one. Revelation verse 1. Uh, chapter 1, verse 4. John to the seven churches which are in Asia. Grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come. That's the Lord Jesus Christ, and from the seven who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ. Well, in this case it's the Father, but later on it applies to the Lord Jesus Christ. The, what is the Lord Jesus Christ? He is the faithful witness. The Lord Jesus Christ is the faithful witness. And in Revelation 3 and verse 14, And to the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, These things says the Amen, the faithful and true witness. Who is that? That's the Lord Jesus Christ, isn't it? The faithful and the true witness. The beginning of the creation of God. He is the faithful and true witness. And then in Revelation 19 and 11, we see Christ on a white horse. Now I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. And he who sat on him was called faithful and true. Who might that be? The Lord Jesus Christ. And in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes were like a flame of fire. And on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no one knew except himself. He was clothed in a robe dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of God. On that exciting and wonderful 
passage. I'll see you in the next talk. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, Theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and I uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. If you watched it on YouTube, please share or like. Um, maybe even comment. If you watched it on Facebook, like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one of life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.